So I've had my eye on this project for quite some time now, and if I had to rank projects in the Cardano ecosystem on their resilience to survive the bear market, this one would probably make its way towards the top of the list. And I'll explain. Welcome Lake Game Crypto. My name is Josh, and I'm here helping make smarter investments for Lake Game Games. Remember, anything you see in any of my videos is not to be taken as financial advice. Do your own research and own your own decisions. Book Token is a platform and exchange for ebooks in NFT form. I first caught wind of this project by a colleague of mine in the Meld Ambassador team, and as soon as I heard about the project, I was immediately sold on it. For me, it was basically a no-brainer. The decentralized business model works so well for all types of creators, and there's already big pushes being made in the music industry, in the filmmaking industry, and even in event ticketing. Ebooks and audiobooks very nicely fits into that category, so as a very basic concept, this works for me. Now, I can't say that this idea isn't being done anywhere else in the industry of cryptocurrency, but I can say that there are no other huge notable players that are doing this, and I think that this project is positioned very nicely to be just that. Before I talk about anything about what this project is and what it does, I first have to talk about the development team. People in business and in crypto always say that when you're investing in a company, you're investing in the people just as much as the product itself. And if that's true, we've got a real winner here. The strength of the development team, in my view, is a major part of any respectable fundamental analysis. It doesn't matter to me at all if a project has the most creative ideas that anybody's ever seen, or a bottomless hole of funding, or endorsements by bigger names in cryptocurrency. If the development team doesn't have what it takes to deliver on the project, nothing else matters. This is first priority. And for this project, there are no words to describe how perfect this team is to deliver on this project that they're trying to build. Each of these individual core members have 20 to 25 years of high-level experience in extremely relevant lines of work. And yes, experience doesn't necessarily equate to success, but these guys have worked for a laundry list of some of the biggest and most successful companies on the planet. It takes the highest levels of performance to be able to hold leading roles at any of these large corporate organizations, but building a startup from the ground up is a completely different challenge altogether. Well, they've got you on that one too, because the co-founders of this project have built startups that have drawn in millions of users, and their most notable success happened to be, wouldn't you know it, in the ebook industry. These guys know tech better than anybody. They know books better than anybody. They know crypto better than most, and they know business in literally all shapes and sizes. Just for fun, let's ignore the vast library of knowledge and the finely tuned business instinct and the vast repertoire of problem-solving methods that comes along with this level of work experience. If you set aside all of that stuff completely, you're still left with a massive network of relevant connections that you can utilize in new endeavors just like this one. For Book Token, it looks like this is going to work out extraordinarily well for them. If you do a little digging into Book Token, you'll see that they've worked with over 186 thousand publishers, including the big five publishers in the game. And this isn't just some potential of, oh yeah, we know some people, but they are actively communicating with these publishers to see how receptive they might be to this kind of thing, and it, it looks good. Thus far, Book Token has received major investments from three unnamed publishing CEOs. They're working with a variety of global publishers and authors, and they currently hold five patents on ebooks and NFTs. That last one had nothing to do with networking, but I just thought that it was a strong testament to the thorough, predetermined thought that went into this project. As a show of everything that I've just talked about, 
I'm going to display for the rest of the video some of my favorite tweets that display or hint at some of the fundamentals that I've talked about in the video thus far. I do want to talk about this first one. It is my favorite one, and I think it's worth talking about. This statement solidifies a lot of confidence in the viability of the product that Book Token will be bringing to the table. This tweet effectively transforms the conversation because all we really got before was, yeah, we've worked with these mega publishers before in some unspecified capacity that may or may not have had any impact on a relationship that we can actually use. But after seeing just this one tweet, the conversation is transformed to, we have an active relationship with these mega publishers, and they have told us that we have a competitive advantage because we're building on Cardano instead of some other potentially bigger chain. I have an army. We have a Hulk. Book Token and Cardano have a notable symbiotic relationship developing here. Book Token is not the only one gaining a competitive advantage here because they are driving in droves of publishers, authors, and potentially series of books that already have massive followings. Book Token creates a new reason for millions or maybe even billions of people to adopt Cardano, or at the very least, it spreads the awareness of Cardano to the masses. If you were to break down Book Token in terms of the fundamentals that they bring to the table, adoption is a very big one on that list. In a world where there's still only 4% of adoption of cryptocurrency, utilities that translate to real-world use cases are just as important as purely blockchain-based utilities like decentralized finance, for example. Projects like Book Token are going to act as much better transitory experiences that will usher people into the Cardano ecosystem. Okay, so quick overview. This project has a phenomenal team with an overwhelmingly impressive set of resumes. I intentionally didn't go into any of the specifics of each of these team members so that you will go out and do your own research on this team. I will link some resources down below. And in the current state of things, in the world of cryptocurrency, there are no huge notable players developing ebooks as NFTs. And the connections that come along with this team are major players that will bring in massive people to Book Token and Cardano. Those are the fundamentals that the team brings to the table, but now let's talk about the actual product. There are three ways that you can structurally engage with the book token platform. First, you can produce a book, even as an independent author, and you can put those books into NFTs. Second, you can purchase said books and then resell them once you're done with it. And third, you can read those books or you can listen to the audiobooks and earn book tokens as a reward for doing so. With all of these mechanisms functioning on blockchain technology, it solves a variety of different issues. First of all, for readers, it enables, for the first time, actual ebook and audiobook ownership. With modern ebook platforms, you don't really own your book because you can't do anything with it besides your own consumption. You can't lend it out to anybody, it's just stuck there on the platform. This is the angle that Book Token takes, but in my view, physical books also have a lot of these limitations too. I'm one of those people that accumulates far too many books than anybody could reasonably actually read. And in my experience, there's still not really anything that I can do with those physical books because you can't really resell them, at least not for any price that's actually reasonable. With physical books, you see natural wear and tear, and there's often additional expenses that you have to pay for, for things like storage, or transportation, or preservation and restoration. With Book Token, not only does that completely eliminate wear and tear on the books, but it also enables preservation of the value of those books with a hard mechanism that allows you to trade and sell those assets. Which, I think, will be a valuable tool for a lot of people, but really for college students that are on a tight budget. 
The second issue that Book Token solves for is for authors and publishers by creating a whole new stream of revenue by earning royalties on books that are sold on secondary markets. Which hopefully will stop textbook producers from coming out with new versions of books for no good reason other than to keep sales revenue going. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. There's also a lot of potential that comes out of the mechanisms that allows trackability and easy transfer of ownership for rights and things like that. It's, it's a very good mechanism to establish business on both for authors and publishers. The third group of people that Book Token solves for is for institutions of education and business. With blockchain technology, you can effectively track how much of the required reading that students and employees are actually consuming, which is effectively going to put spark notes out of business. But I think what's probably more relevant is that this mechanism will reduce costs for institutions and businesses by eliminating the need to pay for shipping costs or maintenance costs or any of those types of things that comes along with running a business or an institution. And you can even step it up a little bit from there and enable businesses and institutions to be able to utilize the platform to publish their own things and create, hopefully, a new stream of revenue from that. Ideally, this would reduce the cost of education and maybe put more money into the hands of employees as a result of this mechanism reducing costs. The team over at Book Token has very clearly, thoroughly thought about all of this for different parties, and I think the fundamentals that they've built here, not just the creativity, but also the experience that the team brings to the table, it's, it's the setup for a very successful project. I think this project is massively underrated, and if I've convinced you that there is any level of potential here at all, definitely go give them a follow over on their Twitter page, which I will link down below, and keep an eye out for their Catalyst proposal. Last fund, they somehow didn't manage to get approved for funding, but if they go again this round, I hope that they manage to get it through, so keep an eye out for that. Also, let me know down in the comments section below, if you're a reader, do you plan on utilizing Book Token's NFTs, and how do you plan on doing so? Are you going to be coming at it from an investor standpoint and reading books so that you can earn Book Tokens in return? Are you going to utilize the audiobooks? Are you going to want to write books and publish through Book Token? Let me know. I'm interested. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification down below to keep up on all of my Cardano-based content every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose, learn as much as you can about this space, and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching.